Hey everybody, Crystal Gamer here with a brand new episode of Rags to Riches starring Katarina Loverly, our once homeless girl who's now a two-star celebrity with a dog, a frog, and some soon-to-be fish, plus some killer royalties coming in on the regular to the point that she had enough for a complete house overhaul that I am so excited about. I can't even tell you. I could just about squee with delight. I'm so excited. I can't wait to show you too. But before we get into that, first we have some people that are waiting for the results of the Home for Strays Challenge. And if you're new to this series, the Home for Strays Challenge is for this gentleman here, Darius, who was a sin made by at GVDN12 for Katarina's World. He's an aspiring vet who doesn't have much money, but he does have a soft spot for strays to the point that he has five of them on a very small 20 by 20 lot, mind you. So the challenge was to build a home for Darius and his strays, and I reviewed the entries last week. So if you haven't seen that and you're interested in seeing the entries before you find out who the winner is, stop here and check that video out first. I'll make sure that I include the link to that below and it will also be at the end of this video. Now, unfortunately, one of our entrants had accidentally made a typo in the hashtag, so I missed reviewing her entry entirely. Now, see how much work she put into it, and the fact that it is actually very different from everyone else's, I wanted to at least show it very quickly. So this entry here that we're looking at was from at Lilac Lydia Dietz, and it's a full-blown freaking vet clinic on the first floor with an apartment for Darius on the second floor over the clinic. And I, I just think that the idea is brilliant. She's got some kennels out in the back, which is so real life, my favorite part. But anyway, I thought this was a brilliant approach. The only drawback here is that the game won't allow us to have both a residence and a business, as most of you probably know. It, that's one of those things that I kind of wish our game creators would code. At the same time, I'm kind of thinking that would be a considerable change on the back end, and it'll probably never happen for that reason. But I'm going off on a sideline here. Point is, I wanted to quickly show you Lydia's entry before announcing the winner. So there you have that. Now, on to the winner. And this one was so hard. But in the end, I went by who I believe Darius is and the home that I felt best matches him. So... In my head, Darius is like the type of guy who wears thrift store clothes and who's barely getting by. He doesn't have the money for vet school yet. So he's he's just trying to learn what he can on his own. And since he doesn't have that much money, he lives in a very modest, modest house that is overcrowded with all the strays he's taken in. So I wonder if based on that, that you have any ideas as to who I chose. Either way, the winning home that is going into Katarina's LP and will be the home for Darius and his five strays is the very small house on the open lot made by Laura is Simming. This house feels a bit cramped, like it's owned by someone who doesn't have a whole lot of money. And it gives me the sense that the, the dogs are the priority here and that Darius barely has enough space for himself, let alone to house them. And so a total aside on this, I played Darius in another game for a little while because I wanted to see what it was like playing a single sim with five dogs to take care of. And oh my God, holy crap, your sim's life like is the dogs. All his time is completely used up by caring for their needs and their wants. And particularly if you're trying to train them up. And I was, my goal was to get all five dogs fully trained, which I did do, but boy, did that take some time and effort. It was a good little challenge challenge. But anyway, congratulations to Laura is simming and now on to Katarina's house. So you'll have to excuse me for being insanely excited about this, but those of you who have been around for a while know that I'm a builder slash designer first and foremost in this game. So playing it is actually a bit out of the ordinary for me. But anyway, that's besides the point. The point is my excitement, which is due to the fact that up until this point, every time Katarina did anything with her house, she had maybe, you know, $800 here or maybe a thousand there and maybe 1200 another time or whatnot, but it was never really more than that. So it's all been kind of in bits and pieces up to this point. It hasn't been a massive kind of overhaul and it hasn't been 
significant purchases each time. And so it, that's been kind of fun, actually, having to watch her spending and all of that has been oddly enjoyable. But I have to say that having oodles of money to spend most certainly has its perks. And this time around, Katerina had over 10,000 simoleons for her home remodel. She got a her most recent royalties were just crazy. They were like $2,733 or something. So yeah, she, she just had a lot of money, which was good because she has some serious ideas for that money. Now, first off, she needed a living room. She's been without living room this whole time. She needed an actual living room. And she also felt that the fireplace would work in the living room a bit better. And then next, and this was a big thing on her, her list. She wanted a dedicated music room, not just for her, but also for the new new music club that she created recently. So basically, she wanted a practice room for herself, yes, but also a club slash kind of party type room for the group. So she also wanted an actual recording studio. And so she did manage to get all of that with the money she had. Now, granted, she has hardly any money left, but you've got to see her place. And so without further ado, let's take a look at the finished product. Or at least the finished product for the moment, because we all know that as she gets more money, this stuff is going to change. But look at the size of this place now. It's much larger than it used to be. She's got a new chair out front so that maybe she and Danny can hang out and roast marshmallows and things like that. She now has a porch out back. I left it uncovered uh, because she is someone who really loves the outdoors. So she may want to play her instruments back there on the porch or something. But so for the moment, it's staying uncovered and so yeah let's take a look inside this place so i'm going to start us in through the left side and take a look at her new kitchen she loves her pink and blue but that can't be we can't have pink and blue for the whole house she wanted something a little bit more neutral and relaxing for the front living area and sorry i'm having a little bit of game lag here I can tell so oh, sorry if that's coming over but yeah so she wanted something a little bit neutral for the main living area in the front and so her kitchen's been spruced up at least it's been a little bit recolored she's got uppers now she's got a, a stove hood that she didn't have before and she's got a cute little key rack that I love over here for when she leaves the place and now I'm going to take a turn around sorry for the weird camera movement and look over here at her living room let's back up so that we can see it better so this is now her living room and so one of the things that she's wanted for a little while is an aquarium that she can fill so she's going to go fishing and she's going to fill that aquarium herself and she's got her new fireplace all nice and warm and cozy in general this is is you know, it's a warmer, kind of cozy, calm environment. She figured she'd leave the fun colors for the music room. We can see another custom piece over here. You're going to see a lot of custom pieces, the little music notes right there, and the clock. The clock is mine, but the music notes and a lot of the other custom pieces, including the key stuff on the wall and a bunch of the stuff you're going to see in a second, is from someone on The Sims resource called Solaria. And that is spelled S-O-L-O-R-I-Y-A. And she's a featured artist on The Sims Resource, and she's got a lot of stuff out there. And a lot of the custom music stuff that you're going to see in this room comes from her. Like, uh, for instance, these records on the wall. Katarina has a new bar here. And so she figured for the club room, this is kind of like going to be a party area. And I mean, how many band members do you know don't drink, right? So... <laughs> We had to have a bar for them. We see we have some cool custom wallpaper. I can't remember who that wallpaper comes from, but man, I love this with the music notes and everything. It's great. The fact that it came in pink was fabulous. And so, yeah, we have a whole bunch of decor around here that is all from that one artist. 
And so if you're interested in this stuff, definitely look her up on The Sims Resource. So this is Katarina's new music room. My God, I love this so much. There's so much music stuff in here. She even has a music stand with notes on it, you know, music on it, like actual like sheet music. She's got a table over here that's a drum and she's got a metronome and her violin case and some more sheet music. I love the clock on the wall. All of this stuff is just so cool. So if you have a musically inclined sim, I definitely recommend Solaria's music stuff that she has on TSR. This table here, this is two tables. So the top table is a record table and the bottom table underneath is a drum table. I just combined them for that effect. And of course the Elvis suit is, that is something that came with Get Famous. So yeah, so this is her music room. And then over here is her recording studio. And she even has the, the little red light up above. Not that she lives with anyone else, but you know, that'll go on when she's recording in the studio. And so I made the walls. If anyone is interested in those, those are actually available uh, out on my Tumblr. So these, these acoustic foam walls, let me back up a little bit. This room is so small that it's kind of hard to show it. All that's in here is her uh, her track mixing thing. So it's not, I mean, obviously it's not a real recording studio, but just to give the idea, I wanted her to have a recording studio. And yeah, those, those walls, if anyone is interested in sound uh, walls that appear soundproofed, I made those and those are on my Tumblr, so you can get those. And if we quickly go in here, we can see what this place looks like in here. So she can be recording in here and she can see out into the other room. So yeah. All right. Warped camera angle done. All right. So that door back there goes to the back porch. And then in here is her bedroom, which has a few little updates, not a ton of updates, but a couple of little updates. She got uh, a new bookcase. The, the stylish woman painting changed to pink just to offset because there was so much blue in here. Uh, that also, if you're interested in that, that's also on my Tumblr. That's one of mine. And then this piece of art with the guitar is from Get Famous. So she got that. That's new. And a new dresser, which I cannot remember where that's from. That might be a, a that might be some custom content. And I'm not sure exactly where that that came from. I can't, I can't recall. I'm not sure if it's something that came with the game or if it's CC, but in any case, so she has a new dresser. Whoops. She has a new dresser and a new bookcase in here. And I think that's about it. That's new. Uh, the lights over the, the computer desk and the new back window, the new back window is new as well. So that overlooks her porch. So that is her bedroom currently. And I'm going to get up and out of this for a minute. The bathroom did not change. Unfortunately, that's something that she, she needs to spruce up. She needs to, uh, she needs to get a shower and all of that, but it's the same as it was. And then she's got this sort of little alcove here for the dog, which I don't know, it would be a horrible thing from a real life building perspective, but from a sins building perspective, I thought it was kind of cute because he goes out there, he's got his little alcove that he comes out. And of course it's covered with roof. So you would probably never have that in real life, but it's cute for The Sims. So, <laughs> so yeah, this is Katarina's new place. Look at this joint. Oh my God. I'm so happy for her. This is so cool. So now she has a place for her music club. Now she just needs music club people. And if you remember, dancing was included in music club activities, which is why I included a little dance floor. And of course, anyone can jam there. We have a little stereo as well. So yeah, this, this room can cover all things for the music club. And so now she just needs to go out and find members for the music club. Now, as you'll notice though, <laughs> look what happened to her household funds. They went from like 10,000, I think it was 10,400 simoleons or something to like 12. So <laughs> <laughs> now, I she just did scour the island to see if there was anything worth any money on it. And she got pretty lucky because she found two diamonds and an emerald and that stuff is worth over $200. 
So, yeah, she's got $264 now, so that's a little bit less of a panic should bills come due. And speaking of, she has some mail here, so let's find out what her mail is. And I just noticed from all the way back here, I also changed the color of her room. I forgot about that. I changed it to a wallpaper that goes from blue to white to from blue to white to blue to pink. Let's see, Katarina has collected everything in the mailbox. Okay, so what was there? Oh, from an adoring fan. Okay, so let's see what this fan mail says. Okay. <laughs> ah, this is the second time she's gotten fan mail, and it's the second time it's been the same exact thing. So I, I didn't have it on camera the last time, but so I am bullied because I stand up for people because I want to stop bullying. Some of my friends betrayed me. What do I do? So apparently some of her friend, uh, some of her fans, some of Katarina's fans think that she is a psychological counselor instead of a musician. So I don't know what she's supposed to do with that fan mail at all, but she is not a shrink. She is a musician. So I don't know what to do with that. So anyway, she's got a couple of needs here that we're going to meet real quick before she heads out. It's real early in the morning here too at the moment. So we're just going to meet a couple of her needs and then head out. So this is cool. Katarina just got paid. She went to go fishing to stock the aquarium and she got paid. And so we have a lot of money. However, we have another bug. I'm having all sorts of issues with bugs and I've already reported this one to EA as well. We have at least three songs that Katarina has done that are not showing up on her royalty reports now, which is a total bummer because this does not equate to how much money she's making. She's She just made almost $3,000 and this doesn't equate to that. So we cannot see how her new songs are doing, which is a huge bummer to me. But what can you do? It is what it is. The thing is, she just made a bunch of money though. So we have more money that she can spend. And also if her bills come due, which I'm not sure exactly when they're coming due, but she should be able to cover them now if they come due. So let's hope. But so she's going to fish for a little while and see if she can stock her aquarium up a little bit or maybe make a little bit of money or maybe both. Okay, so Katarina's done fishing for the day and the best looking fish that she got were these couple of cichlids. So she stuck those in the aquarium, but the rest of them are going up for sale. Now we're going to try something that I don't know if Katarina can even go or not, but I noticed on the calendar that the Starlight Acolytes are taking place tonight at from 6 to 11 p.m. at Studio PBP. So... Katarina is going to try and see if she can crash that party or whatnot. She's a two-star celebrity. Let's see if they let her in. Okay, so Katarina is at Studio PVP, and there is a star there. And let's see if two stars is enough to get her in here. This is blocked set fame requirement. Oh, well, I can set it myself. That's nice. Oh, oh, Katarina's getting an award. Look at this! All she did was show up! Oh, that is great! Oh, and there's there's a couple of people here paying attention. Woohoohoo! Wow! Okay! Okay, so for bringing such oral beauty to the ears around the world, Katarina Loverly won the Starlight Acolyte for Best Song. You can find your award in the Sims Household Inventory. So this is so cool. Katarina has her first award. Oh my god, I'm like so excited about this. So good. All right. Let's see if she can... I don't know, talk to a couple of these people or something. Is she getting another award? She's getting another award. That's two. All right. Well, Katarina is good with it. She's going to have to buy a table to, to, or shelves or something to show off these awards. Woohoo. <laughs> this is fabulous. Who knew this was going to happen? Excellent acceptance speech, Katarina. Good job. Look at you go. Uh -huh. 
Okay, she's got a good reputation and she's a little bit over. You guys probably can't see it on the video. I don't know. But she's a little bit over the two star mark. So she's on her way to three stars. So that's good. But Katarina Ashley, she's not a huge fan of the spotlight. She wants the music career. She wants the money. But the spotlight is not necessarily super her thing. She's trying to, to like fit in and all of that stuff. But... So Katarina is signing an autograph for this girl and she's Oh, she doesn't want an autograph. <laughs> she was going to ask for an autograph as well. She was going to try and do a like get one and receive one, thing, like get one give one thing, but Okay, this girl's kind of being a jerk. I think Katarina needs to um I don't know, these famous people. This might be me projecting, but I'm not a huge fan of like people that are all into themselves. <laughs> and so <laughs> I don't know. I feel like Katarina got her awards for the night and these people are all self-absorbed. So she's going to head home because I don't like self-absorbed people. Yes. <laughs> oh, and the award ceremony was over anyway. Okay. So Katarina left the party because she's not super self-absorbed, but she just put her awards up here and she's got her pictures and everything. And so this looks like the totally self-absorbed area, but <laughs> that's besides the point. She, she is pretty exhausted. So, and she's hungry. So she's going to grab a bite to eat and go to sleep and poor treasure. Oh my God. He's filthy. She's going to have to bathe him tomorrow for sure. Okay, so today is a new day. It's not particularly super fun. Katarina is having to give tre yeah. Treasure a bath. So we're starting the day off with bathing Treasure. At least he's very well behaved in the bathtub, so that's good. She has to bathe him almost every time he leaves the house, but it's good that he's very, very well behaved oh, in the bathtub. Yeah. And so the other thing that happened was Katarina got a call from her producers and they said, you better make a track soon because we're going to drop you if you don't. And so she is trying to produce a track right now so that they, that her producers don't drop her. And also speaking of this track that she's producing, we had a little bit of a song contest on Twitter. For those that follow me on Twitter, you probably noticed it. Those that watched my royalty report episode of the Let's Play know that I like to kind of create some wacky outlandish names yeah. for the songs. And so we did a song contest and the song that won was by Lady Vi and it is called... I like it when your beep beep goes boop boop and it makes my heart go roar. <laughs> and so that's oh. at Vaihisha on Twitter and she goes by Lady Vi. And so she is the winner. And so that will be the name of Katarina's new song. And I love that one. They, there were several that I really loved that came in. Oh my goodness. She just got new royalties again. Look at this. Dang. I really wish we could see them all because she's definitely getting more than what's there. She got uh, almost another $3,000 again. So she definitely got more than what's there. And now she's going to get more for this song that she's playing with as well. Okay. So one of my big questions with this was, can the system t accept this whole name because it's such a long name and it seems to be accepting the whole thing even the RAR we can't see it at the beginning of it but it seems to be accepting the whole thing it didn't stop me from typing it in so maybe it's 128 characters or, or something like that but nonetheless all right we're gonna hit okay and now we are gonna see where that track landed Oh, quality outstanding yes so she is going to release that to dinky beats right now and she gets a little boost to fame. I'm assuming the awards gave her a little boost to fame as well. So, all right, that is her new song. Thanks to Lady Vi. Okay, so bills have come in a thousand dollars. That's not bad. That leaves her with five thousand dollars. That means that she has enough to get a shower, maybe expand the bathroom a little, a few things like that. Okay, so Katarina spent pretty much all her money again, but she has a completely upgraded bathroom. It's enlarged, upgraded tub, some decor, new sink. She was living without a sink this whole time. A new shower, which was something else that she was living without this whole time. And an upgraded toilet. So lots of upgrade, totally new bathroom pretty much there. She picked up a couple of other things, a cello over here. Just some, some little decor pieces here and there. 
and a big one, a new dishwasher. That's pretty big. A couple little decor items, new plant out front. Landscaping is going to happen eventually too. So, but she went through pretty much all of her money pretty quickly to do mostly upgrading of the bathroom. But that's pretty exciting because she's been dealing without a sink or a shower for a really long time. So that's awesome. As a two star celebrity on her way to three stars, you want to have some decent bathroom, right? Okay, so this is unexpected. Danny invited Katarina to the Humor and Hijinks Festival, which is something that I have never done in the game. But it says we must drink some tea from these fountains. So let's go drink some tea. Join the jokesters? Join the jokesters together. All right, plus to fame. All right, let's join the jokesters. Okay, she's joined the jokesters. Perform comedy interactions to gain points for your team. Holy wow, the jokesters win. All jokesters have received a comedy mic, fireworks, and $500. Dang, plus she's making money playing the guitar. Wow. And what is this? Watch fireworks. Oh. Let's see what these fireworks look like. That's kind of cool. Ooh, there's a bunch going up now. Excellent. And they just keep going. And the fireworks show is over. So that was kind of cool. Humor and hijinks festival spinner. Round and round it goes where it stops. Nobody knows. So we got that. That's pretty cool. Oh, here we go. Humor and Hijinks Festival Spark Fountain contains a cascading fountain of sparks and sounds. And that's our microphone. So, wow, that was something else. How huh? we, we got a whole bunch of stuff just by attending this little festival. That's pretty cool. So that was a pretty successful festival at the hijinks thing. I mean, $500, a new microphone, fireworks. I mean, hell, this is a pretty good deal. She got awards last night. She got $500 and a bunch of stuff tonight. She got new royalties, a spruced up bathroom. I mean, today has been a big day. It's, it's been huge. The awards are a big thing. I, these awards are very pretty on her mantle. Look at that. Who knew she was going to get those? Those are wonderful. We should have her light the fireplace while she's hanging out in here. But yeah, so everything, everything is going a incredibly fantastic for Katarina. So the only part is that she still hasn't found anyone to date. But oh, treasures on the couch. That's adorable. But yeah, she hasn't found anyone to date yet. But now that she's famous, it's even harder and she's she's not particularly fond of fame. So and people are treating her differently and the people that she's interacting with are not people. They're they're up at that fame level. She kind of wants someone more down to earth. Katarina's really down to earth. I mean, she's an outdoor lover. She loves to fish. She's she's really a down to earth girl. So it, it might take her a little while to find some people that she wants to really associate with. I don't know where she's going. What's she doing? Oh, she's playing with treasure. But yeah, so we've had an excellent day. She's got a pretty much a new house, new bathroom, new awards. Everything is great. And if you enjoyed this episode, please do hit the like button, comment, share, subscribe, all that good stuff. You know how much it helps us YouTubers out. And I appreciate you all spending the time with me today. And I hope to see you all back again next time. Bye now.